the Nintendo World News with Mario. We go direct to the ringside at the WWF WrestleMania Challenge. Ready, kid? Just watch me with the Macho Man. And here he comes, 250 pounds of lean, mean muscle. What a leg drop! Wow! An elbow smash! And a body slam! Let's see that again. Is that the end of the Macho Man? No way. I want a rematch. This is Mario for WWF WrestleMania Challenge. Nintendo! Hello, Orange, the sunshine range of vitamins. Hello, Orange, with the great fruity taste, and now with a full range of vitamins and supplements. One day, Sandra and Simon went on an adventure with Lights Alive, Tommy's brilliant picture maker. First, they sailed a boat. Then they caught a train. Simon wrote his name, they played a game and still got home in time for tea. The brilliant Lights Alive picture maker, only from Tommy. Fish gotta swim and birds gotta fly. I gotta love one man till I die. Can't help loving that man of mine. Cartoon fun on children's ITV. Okay, kids, let's get this show on the road. Tiny Toons, Mondays. On Tuesdays, it's an old and treasured friend, Rupert. Then on Wednesdays, Rolf's Cartoon Club, with trade secrets and favourite cartoon clips. Stand by on Thursdays for Captain Z. Captain Z, Dream Patrol. And watch out on Fridays for Victor and Hugo, those naughty boys. <laughs> Remember, every day's a cartoon day on children's ITV every single day. Um, look, I'm going to make my own Christmas decorations for the children's ITV area, and there's my first one, one of the kings. I'm going to have to mop up this spilt paint water whilst I enjoy Michelangelo. He came from another dimension, from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. Watch the show. It's Mike and Angelo. Mrs. King, Mrs. King. Oh, somebody up there's got it in for me. Mr. Pinner. Oh, let him in, Ellie. Mrs. King, not busy, are you? Well, um, oh. <laughs> this is Ellie. She's staying with us for a couple of weeks. More kids, just what we need. <laughs> what exactly can we do for you, Mr. Ooh, Pinner? Chockies. <sighs> we'll be having lunch later. Perhaps you'd like to book a table. Oh, no, no, these would do fine. <laughs> I expect you're wondering why I've come round here. Uh, well, I'll get straight to the point. I won't beat about the bush. No use in going all round the houses. <laughs> it's Mrs. Pinner. Mabel, she's had another of her ludicrous whims. Oh? Mm, she wants to have a party. Is that her birthday? No fear. Last year, she had so many candles on her cake when she bent over to blow them out, the heat melted the toggles on her duffel coat. <laughs> no, it's our anniversary, our 30th wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations, 30 years. That certainly calls for a celebration. You reckon? Mm. She's got this crazy idea of inviting all the neighbours. I said it's bad enough having to look at them over the garden fence. No need to invite all that riffraff into the house. <laughs> but she insisted. So that's why I'm here, to invite you to the party. Well, Mr Pinner, what a charming invitation. How could we possibly refuse? Oh, you're to bring a partner. You too. Oh, great, thanks. And that loopy lodger of yours, Angelo. I suppose I'll have to invite him and all. Oh, I can't wait to tell Angelo about it. It's going to be so exciting. Oh, what am I letting myself in for? Ooh, well, if you're not eating these, I'll take them off your hands. Um... Oh, and uh, when you're buying us a present, no cheap rubbish, please. <laughs> this is HB39 London calling KPO Rangoon. Transmitting on the shortwave band at 10.4 meters on frequency 350 megacycles per second. Come in, KPO Rangoon. 
Over. Come in, Rangoon. This is HP 39 London calling. Are you receiving me? Over. Ah! Ellie! <laughs> I've got something to tell you. Sorry. Speak up. I want to tell you something. Can't hear you. What's that? I've got some news. Oh, sorry. Come again. I can't hear a word with these headphones on. <laughs> oh, that's better. Now, what did you want? Oh. <clears throat> I just came to tell you that's... Uh, what is all this stuff? 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 This isn't stuff. This is my pride and joy. Yeah? Yeah. But what is it? Oh, it's a radio transmitter. Oh, yes. With this little beauty, I can communicate with people all over the place. Harry Ramtree in Rangoon, Yoko Yamaguchi in Osaka, Ted Scrope in Rotherhithe. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've got friends all over the world. Not many in Larkswood Lane, but all over the world. Hey, Tangela! It can even transmit signals way out into deep space beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, yes. I can chat away to folk on distant planets. No. I kid you not. This is the best hobby I've ever had. Now, uh, what was it you wanted? Oh, yeah. Um, your neighbour, Mr Pinner, uh -huh. is having a party on Saturday night and we're all invited. A party? Oh, great. Good old Mr P. Oh, a party. I hope he lays on a trifle. And everyone has to bring a partner. Oh, a partner? Oh. We're just going to ask the friend of it. And I'm going to ask Wayne Bishop a boy in my class at school. Oh, he's really hunky. He's the captain of the football team and he looks just like Nick out of Neighbours, except his hair's a bit longer. And, uh... Angelo, what is it? What's the matter? A partner. We've got to take a partner. Well, who am I going to take? I don't know anyone I can ask to a party. Of course you do, Angelo. You must know loads of people. I don't know anyone. I'll be the only person without a partner. Oh, come on, think. I mean, there must be somebody. There isn't. Oh, it's no good. I can't go on my own. Everyone will think I'm weird. <laughs> You're going to have to tell Mr Pinner I'm not coming. But wait a minute. What about all those friends you've been chatting to on the radio? Eh? Well, why don't you take one of them to the party? Do you reckon? Well, why not? Brilliant. Brilliant! <laughs> Go on, then. What are you waiting for? Get to a uh, 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 <coughs> This is HP 39 London calling. Hello? Hello? Come in, XP 42. Right, I'm just going downstairs to make a phone call to Wayne. See you in a minute. HP 39 London calling. Are you receiving me? Is that you, Angelo? Oh, Marjorie! I've been trying to get you for ages, but you were engaged. Oh, sorry. I was talking to Yoko Yamaguchi in Osaka. Oh, listen, listen. I've got some great news. My next-door neighbour, Mr Pinner, is having a party on Saturday night, and I wondered if you'd like to come and be my partner. Oh, Angelo, I'd love to. But I've got nothing to wear. And I look such a mess. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. Let your hair down. Have a boogie. Get your dancing shoes on. Well, if you really want me to. Oh, I do. I do. Now, grab a pencil and I'll tell you how to get here. Now, I... <laughs> Angelo, will you relax? <clears throat> the party is until this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, know, I know, but I can't help feeling nervous. I've never been on a date before. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. I'm sure your friend Marjorie is a lovely girl, and the two of you are going to get on like a house on fire. Yeah, yeah. Do you really think she'll like me? I mean, look at me. I'm not Danny DeVito. She'll adore you. You're kind, you're witty, you can walk on the ceiling. What more could a girl want? Do you think she'll notice my spot? What spot? There. Here, on my chin. Look! Where? There. You must be able to see it. Horrible great thing the size of St Paul's Cathedral. Oh, I feel like the Elephant Man's ugly brother. Oh, <laughs> people like people for what they are, not for what they look like. Oh, she'll be here soon. You never told me where your friend Marjorie lives. Huh? Oh, she comes from a little place called... Antudy. 
in the galaxy of Skrilp, a couple of billion light years from the constellation of Thug. Perhaps if I wear a paper bag over my head, she won't notice. And old Looney Tunes, Angelo, who's he decided to bring? His friend, Marjorie. Marjorie? Marjorie? I don't know her, do I? That must do, Mr. Pinner. We're all looking forward to meeting her, though. Well, let's just hope she's more sensible than that half-baked border of yours. Oh, come on, be fair. Angelo's been on his absolute best behavior the last few days. I mean, really, we've hardly heard a peep out of him. She's here, she's here. Marjorie's here. You must be Angelo. <laughs> Marjorie, it's great to see you. I'm delighted to be here. Oh, you're different from how I imagined. <laughs> I thought you said you had blue eyes. Well, three and a half blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Oh, you must be dying for a drink. We've got so much to talk about. So, uh, how was your journey? Any problems? Well, I ran into a spot of traffic on the Saturn Ring Road. I was stuck in the 17th gear for over two light years. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Every time I come to this house, it's oh. the same. You lot ought to be locked away. <gasps> Calm down, Mr. Pinner. I'm sure that there's a perfectly rational explanation. Perfectly rational? In this flaming knockhouse? <laughs> well, let's find out. Come on. <sighs> Nothing. It was probably just Concord flying over the house. Concord, my big toe. It was him. It was him. I know it. I'm left into that today. We part the ship behind the garden shed. Oh, Angelo, I'm so excited about the party tonight. Oh, me too, me too. In here. Angelo. Can I tell you the truth? I've never been on a date with a boy before. Oh, nor have I. <laughs> with a girl, I mean. But you mustn't worry. We're going to have a great time, and everybody's going to adore you. Come and sit down. Satisfied? Uh, well, something round here smells fishy to me. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do for you. Then... Oh, there is actually chairs. I need to borrow some chairs for tonight. Oh, if you could give me a hand. It's my back, you know, a little on the dicky side. <laughs> Another drink, Marjorie? Yes, please. That was delicious. Back in a sec. That's the way. Steady now. Oh. Rita, <laughs> Mr P, Marjorie's here. Oh. Not now, Angelo. I'll meet her when I get back. Come on, girl. Best foot forward. Hello, Rita. Hi, Mr. Pinner. Is Angelo around? Yes, Ellie. He's in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> ah. Hi. Oh, Ellie. Let me just finish this off. Then you must come and say hello to my friend Marjorie. Okay. I just know you two are going to become big buddies oh. the moment you clap eyes on her. Come on, you rats! <laughs> Marjorie. Ellie. Ellie, Marjorie. Hi. Oh. <laughs> What's up, love? Oh, it's all the excitement I expect. The party. Oh, I feel a bit up in the air myself. You better go and see if she's OK. Oh, right. You wait here. Back in a minute. What's up with you? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Oh, oh what is that thing? It's all boys masters. Oh, I knew it made me look ugly. But Rita said, Oh, no, Angelo, it's only a spot. No one will ever notice. Not that. I mean, that. That, that thing in there, that... Oh, I'm not with you. That disgusting-looking blob of... Hey? That speaking heap of blubber that... Oh, oh you mean Marjorie. <laughs> That's Marjorie. Yeah. That dollop of overcooked semolina is your friend Marjorie. Yeah, steady on. There's no way to talk about my date. Angela, you're crazy. You can't take that creature to Pinhead's party. 
What? Don't you think she'd enjoy it? Oh, yeah, she'll have a great time. But she'll be the only one there. Hmm? Everyone else will have run screaming up the street. Why is that? Because of the way she looks, of course. People round here are old fashioned. They get put off doing the Lombard with the gigantic gumboil. Oh, so you think Marjorie shouldn't go to the party because she's too ugly? It's for her own good. Oh, she'll be heartbroken. She was really looking forward to it. Just get it over with and get around the house before Rita gets back, okay? Oh, okay. Go on. There's another chair in the sitting room and a couple more upstairs. Ah, uh, Ellie! <laughs> and don't go in there right now. Well, I mean, uh, not right now. We but, need um, the chairs. That's a lovely cardigan, Mr. Pinner. Did your wife knit it? Hey, let go. What is this? Ellie, could we get past, please? Here's a good song. Join in if you like. Ten green bottles hanging on the wall. Ten. Oh, is that Rita back? Oh, I'm going to meet her. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And so you shall. But first, uh, a quick tour of the house. This way. Come on. <laughs> Eight green bottles hanging on the wall. Eight green. <laughs> Strange girl. Angelo, Angelo, <sighs> Ah, there we go. And there are a couple of folding ones under the stairs. Oh. Uh, ah! 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 <laughs> Ellie, what are you up to? <laughs> Ellie. Nothing. Stupid girl. Oh, you don't want to go in here. Not right now. No, no, no. no. Angelo, no. I need the no. chairs from under the stairs. Oh, need the chairs from under the stairs? <laughs> Rita, you're a poet and you didn't realise it. Oh, <laughs> get out of the way, you nut. No. That's a nice cardigan, Mr Pinner. Did your wife knit it? Angelo, <laughs> move it! <laughs> hey, what is this? What's going on? Sorry, sorry. I'll, uh, I'll bring the others then, along then, later. Then, then, Bye! <laughs> well, isn't anybody going to introduce us? Rita, I'd like you to meet my very dear friend, Marjorie. Hi! <laughs> all right, all right. I agree, she's a lovely girl. Thing. Whatever. She's charming and funny, but you can't take her to the party, Angelo. But you said it didn't matter what people looked like. Yes, and notice I used the word people. Not hideously deformed mutants from distant galaxies. I don't think it's fair, and she's going to be terribly upset. I can't tell her. I tried. Okay, okay. <laughs> Miss Food, delicious. Um, Marjorie, uh, I, I don't know how to say this. Something the matter? Well, it, it's about the party. I'm ever so excited. Yes, but, um... It's still on, isn't it? Oh, oh yes, 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 it's still on. <laughs> I can still come, can't I? Ah, now, you put your finger, your tentacle... Right on the spot. You mean I can't come? Look, I'm really sorry. Don't tell me. Because you think I look ugly, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> you reckon I'll scare everyone because I look so strange and different? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Just when I thought I found a new friend. Except for what I really like. And just for what I look like. Oh, please, please, don't cry. You'll, you'll make your eyes all red and puffy. Excuse me. I'm as go upstairs out of my trunk. And when I come down, I'm going to climb into my spaceship and go home. Who needs stupid parties anyway? Oh, I feel terrible. Not half 
as terrible as I feel. Oh. <laughs> that flaming woman doesn't know when to stop. I go to all the trouble of uh, arranging this flipping party. Peanuts, half a bottle of sherry, I even get a balloon. Then she turns around and says it's not exciting enough. Why can't I arrange something a bit more adventurous? I mean, what does she expect? The Moscow State Circus. Mr P, I've got it. And you're welcome to it. No, 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 an answer to your problem. A way to spice up your shindig, a way to get into Mrs Pinner's good books, and a way for Marjorie to come to the party. Oh, it's quite simple, really. Let me explain. All you have to do is this. That was a brilliant idea, having a fancy dress party. Oh, oh. Hi, everyone. Oh, goodbye, my dear. Lovely to have met you. And that costume's just out of this world. A costume? What are you on about? Here. Before I go, just let's have a quick peek and see what you're really like underneath. Oh. Hey, dear! Oh. Oh. That's not a costume! You really are a thing! On next week's show... When you hear the clicking of fingers, you will be young again. Young. And you will stay young until you hear again the clicking of fingers. You are engulfed by the pulsating energies of the crystal. I am engulfed. <laughs> I don't like to. Uh, I'll just get the phone. Hello? Uh, call you.